Hi, Larry Stewart here with 4constructionpros.com with Brad Stemper in the case booth at World of Concrete 2017. Brad, the thir SD 3400, uh, 3400, 340, 3400 rated, pounds rated operating capacity, new biggest machine in the case line. Talk about how uh, significant the size of this machine is to the case line. Absolutely. This is the largest machine that we've produced. It's, it's uh, replacing the 3,000 pound capacity machine, the SV300. And we're actually stepping this machine up for greater lift capacity, obviously 3,400 pound rated operating capacity, as well as 6,800 pound tipping load on this machine. But we're also stepping up its hydraulic capacity for operations that are going to be done with the front implement on that machine. All right. So you're really building a machine here that can handle a lot more tools. Exactly. So with uh, the advent of people wanting to do more, getting more skid steers into production style applications. We're looking at this machine and what it's capable of doing, not only as the prime mover, but with additional attachments on the front. Yeah. And as we know, the attachments keep growing with size. You yeah. want bigger cold planers, you want larger cutting heads on the front, and with that comes additional need for flow or pressure. Yeah, so we've got 3,400 pounds of rated operating capacity. How's the hydraulic system boosted to, yeah. to handle those attachments? The, the hydraulic system actually has been increased since the previous 300, and the rest of the lineup, which runs at 3,000 PSI. Mm -hmm. This machine runs at 3,450. So this machine's hydraulic pressure is limited uh, 450 pounds or 400 pounds more than the, than the previous model was. Okay. In addition to that, its flow has been increased. So when you're looking at running a motor or some sort of driven attachment, not just a cylinder positioning attachment, yeah. you're looking at 3,900, nearly 39, excuse me, nearly 39 gallons per uh, minute of flow going to that attachment. The attachments need to do more and with yeah. that we actually change the hydraulic flow and the hydraulic operating pressure of the prime mover itself. Okay. At, at uh, standard operation we're running at 3450 um, 3,450 PSI now instead of 3,000. That's an increase of 400 PSI over the standard, the rest of the model lineup. Mm. In addition, we're actually increasing the hydraulic high flow on this machine up to 39 gallons per minute. And that's been increased from the standard or the previous SV300 model as well by about four or five PSI. Oh, okay. All right. So standard... Uh, four or five gallons four per minute. Four or five gallons per minute. Yep. That's okay. Uh, uh, so this, the standard flow is around 24 gallons? Yep. 24 425 from okay. the prime mover, uh, prime mover, and just standard operating. Okay, and and uh, is there another hydraulic set? Uh, there is option another hydraulic this? option with this. Yeah. It's enhanced high flow, okay. which actually increases your operating pressure from 3450 up to near 4000 and just beyond actually. Oh, okay. So what happens then is obviously with the increase of pressure, you're actually going to pull a little bit away from the available gallons per minute, which mm -hmm. drops it back down to around 35, 36 gallons per minute. Mm -hmm. But with the increased pressure, you're actually creating a flywheel effect. It's creating the momentum to keep those even larger attachments moving, driving. Mm -hmm. So you're talking about big wide cold planers mm -hmm. or brush hogs going into clearing operations and things like that. Yeah, sure, mulchers and that kind exactly. of thing. Exactly. Right, right, yeah. Um, what about the uh, the operator uh, environment in this machine? I know that's a really developing yeah. area in skid steer loaders. So uh, with the rest of the lineup, it's, it just continues on with this machine. The operating environment is really becoming key with how people are operating this machine and their customization of how they can operate it. Mm -hmm. You've got a lot of different operators getting into skid steers or moving from a skid steer to other machines. So they're looking at carrying their control pattern into those other machines or vice versa into okay. this machine. This machine does have available Easy EH, which allows you to customize the response and the speed out of your hand controls for the EH control style. And then you can also go to traditional mechanical or even foot pedal control for the very traditional skid steer operator. So with that adjustable EH, you can really tell the machine how fast to respond to your yes. to your inputs on the on the joystick. Exactly. So you can actually go into the controls with a few minor button touches, and you're able to adjust speed or control, which is response in the control. Mm -hmm. for more precise operations or more of a production style. Mm -hmm. I often say production might be snow removal or a lot of material movement where you're moving a pile from A to B. You're able to get that speed up so you can really drive in and get to point uh, to, to that other location as quickly as possible. And are there like profiles set up in the system so you can you can set a, a yeah. profile for, you know, I want to do fine work uh, so I, I hit this this profile? There's, there's low, medium, and high, and then there's a fully customizable version. So you okay. could work with your D 
dealer to understand where that customization fits and they could program that in specifically for you. Sure, sure. And Case was kind of one of the first companies to come with uh, selective catalytic reduction on, a, on skid steer loaders. I assume Correct. this machine's got that. This machine is carrying over that 90 horsepower machine or engine with this SCR system on it. Yep. Mm -hmm. And so in the higher horsepower range, we're seeing that that value of having SCR in that system instead of using more fuel to go ahead and regenerate a DPF yeah. really adds to the customer's uptime and performance on and around the job site. DPF definitely, definitely has its point. There are certain machines that yeah. can value because it's a lower cost option. But when you're talking about a production machine like an SV340 or a large compact track loader, you really are driving towards keeping that machine running in its operation as much as possible.